Hi, I'm Junior. I'm a first year studying business management with biology and I am a fresher. <laughs> and I live in independent housing. <laughs> <laughs> Um, fairly easy, like in regards to me putting in my choices and stuff like that. Um, independent, to be honest, was my first choice and that was what I got. So the process of actually finding a house, obviously had to meet up because it's outside, like junior housing, um, to fill in forms and stuff like that. But it was fairly straightforward in regards to finding a place. Um, not really, because with independent housing, like once you actually submit it, like through the whole process at uni, um, they just kind of find you a place really, and then you have to say if you want to accept the offer or decline the offer. But if you decline, I think you have to find your own place, which is kind of doing when you are like coming to uni, you don't really know about the area, so yeah. Um, it's been fairly cool, like I did, when I did come I was like, oh maybe because I'm not like in the housing, um, I might not meet a lot of people and stuff like that, but I think like first week you just used like going out and stuff as much as you can, so you met like a lot of people, and in regards to like bills and stuff, everything's fairly manageable, it's not like overpriced, so yeah, it's fairly good. Yes, I would like to live, I would have liked to live in halls, but I think the fact that I've got like various friends that are in halls and stuff like that, like I just go around there so I'm kind of not missing out, that makes sense. Well, first of all, there's no like inspections, housing inspections, there's no fire alarms and stuff like that. Um, what else? I, think, I guess you can just do what you want. Like you have your own room, you have your own like house. And you can like, have house parties and stuff like that if you want. You try to make sure everything doesn't get damaged. But yeah, you can generally do stuff you want and worry about like the after effects kind of later on down the line. I guess like doing like maybe like simple like chores around the house and stuff like that and the recycling is such a biggie as well um because we need to take it out every i think it's thursday but if it doesn't get like done then we have to wait until next thursday so sometimes rubbish or like recycling stuff does pile up and sometimes as well like i said we've got friends i've got friends that live in the hall so actually getting there so my house is down the road it takes me about like 10 15 minutes to get here and if i'm going to tour and it takes like 20 minutes which is quite a bit of a walk so i think it well it was like the same because like i said like when i was originally when us like lads because i lived with four other guys we originally like getting to know each other and conversating and stuff like that we said like, oh, it might be difficult in regards to meeting people. But you, for example, you came to our house on that first week. Um, different like friends came first week as well, and we just just made sure that we like got out from where I live. Also, it's very easy to get into town. So sometimes, if it's like a last minute decision of going out, you just pick yourself up and just go. Uh, um, make sure. Well, you can't, as I said, you can't really choose, but make sure it's somewhere that you want to live and do, because we did have um, someone who was like there living with us, but they kind of dropped out because of kind of, not really us, but the environment, they felt kind of vulnerable. They didn't, they wasn't um, used to like being by, by themselves. They needed other people and friends like that. So sometimes you might see it as it's a bit, not really segregated but away from everyone else but if 
can go to people's houses and stuff like that and invite people over quite easily. 